confusion matrices provide a clear overview about the performance of multi-class classifiers. In addition to predicting the class of a given sample, many classifiers provide additional information about its probability to belong to each of the classes. To show this information in addition to the confusions, we developed the confusion wheel. The confusions between the classes are represented by chords between their sectors. The chord between class 1 and class 2 indicates how many times class 1 was confused for class 2 and how many times class 2 was confused for class 1. Hence, by observing the chords, it is possible to tell if a confusion is asymmetric or not. Besides showing the confusions, the wheel also shows how the samples are classified in each class. The samples in each class are distributed radially in a histogram according to their class probabilities. The samples are also colored according to their classification results in each class. True positives are colored green, false positives are colored yellow, and false negatives are colored red. True negatives are colored in gray and are shown only starting from the second bin by default. From the user interface, it is possible to specify which of these samples to include in the visualization. Certain samples, such as true negatives, can be filtered further based on their probabilities. Clicking on a chord selects the samples confused between the respective classes. These samples can be inspected individually in the selection list to find out possible reasons for the confusion. We designed multiple coordinated views that allow exploring different aspects of classification data. The summary charts emphasize the classification results in terms of actual classes, predicted classes, and classification rate. The wheel view emphasizes the probabilities of the samples in each class in relation to the classification results encoded in color. The detail views show information about selected samples emphasizing their data features. Selecting samples in one view updates the selection in other views. The query can be refined by combining selections from different views using set operations. The detail views show information about the selected samples both in the tabular list and in the feature analysis view. To investigate the reason behind certain misclassifications, it is important to analyze the influence of the data features used on the results. The feature analysis view allows splitting selected samples by the results in a certain class. Up to four box plots show how the samples in each group are distributed. This gives an idea of whether the data feature can separate certain groups or not. The groups can be explored at a higher level of detail in stacked histograms. This enables a quick check of group separability by different features. We rank the features in the view by their separation of certain groups in the selected class. We provide different separation measures for this purpose, along with an overview of how much separation is possible in a precision recall graph. It is possible to improve classifier performance by finding data features that separate misclassified samples from correctly classified samples in a reproducible way. If such a feature is found, a post-classification rule can be defined based on information available at runtime. This information comprises class probabilities and data features. Both are available when classifying unknown samples. We report classification improvement due to the created rule, both on the training data loaded in the visualization and on an external test dataset. Rules that perform well on both datasets can be incorporated into the classifier or used to tune its algorithms and parameters. This video has demonstrated the power and flexibility of the confusion wheel for understanding and optimizing classifiers.